Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I'm just heading out the door right now to a baseball game. And of course, here in Oregon, one has to be prepared for rain. In fact, our last game, it rained and hailed all in one game. I thought I would show you real quick how I get set up for photography. I'll go through this in a minute, but this is the bag that I carry. This is a Mountain Smith uh, pack. I have my Nikon camera with a uh, long lens on it. It's in an old lock sack bag. I use these bags quite a bit as you guys probably know. Here's my short lens and it's in a long lock sack bag that I use for lens protection. There's the extra bag for my long lens. When I'm at a baseball game or some sporting event I like to use a monopod as a brace instead of a tripod, much more flexible and uh, easy to move around. I might take some video. We're going to be celebrating a boy's birthday afterwards with a barbecue. So I'll take my video camera and it is secured in a lock sack bag that has seen uh, better days, but they are pretty durable. I've got two regular Ziploc bags here. They both have two lightweight thin garbage bags. One as that I'll use for just a rain shield that I can pop over my camera real quick. I've got two in case one gets wet. And I've got another set of two in here with two rubber bands and I've pre-cut the edge of the bag with a small hole that will fit around the edge of my uh, camera lens. And then I use the rubber bands to put a nice secure tight fit that way my camera is completely covered with the bag and only thing exposed is my lens and all my lenses have a UV filter which protects the actual glass of the lens from any weather exposure. I don't go anywhere without my flip uh, video camera so I've got that in a this is actually a new LockSack bag thanks to the people at LockSack for sending us those and this is the support bag for my Nikon I've got extra flash uh, memory and an extra battery charged and ready to go. And there's my uh, cell phone again in a lock sack bag. And the nice thing I like about these is your equipment is usable right in the uh, bag. So that's a nice nice feature about lock sack bags as well. Now let me say um, I think this provides a lot of uh, weather protection and all of this fits inside my Mountain Smith bag and in the front zipper I know you guys like gear stuff so we'll just go over that real quick I've got uh, micro uh, a microfiber towel I use that to dry off any equipment a hat in case it gets cold and a pair of gloves always seems to get uh, even more cold than you anticipate here in Oregon I also have my rain pants in there I'm not going to pull those out and uh, somewhere in there, I've got, well, let's pull them out. So rain pants, and oh, it's actually over in this pocket here. I've got my rain hat in case it gets really bad. This is outdoor research. Pretty nice hat for here in Oregon. And then my other pocket over here, I've got a... It's always hard to do this with one hand. Somehow we continue to do it. <laughs> um, I've got a Thermarest pad, so if I want something dry to sit on at the stadium, I've got that. Now this pack comes with shoulder straps, but in this case I'm just using over-the-shoulder uh, carry strap, which works out pretty well. So this works out great for camera gear in the weather. And in the bottom, I just put one more micro uh, fiber towel as a cushion and an extra towel to keep things dry. I'm anticipating rain today. And uh, just got through bagging up the five prizes for the Alisac video response contest. We've got some great videos guys. Thanks for doing that. And there's also a special surprise going to be going in the box that's not, not here but uh, we'll show that later. And uh, 
Boy, there's a lock sack that has seen better days. That's probably three years old. It finally ripped today. And that's a bag that I carry in my briefcase that carries uh, all my cables for my cameras and uh, phone. And I'm in that bag probably three or four times a day at a minimum. And I've had it for about three years. And the bag is held up well. It's a little worn. But finally the uh, zipper mechanism broke. So I think that's a good testament for the durability of these bags. All right, guys, there's still a few more days left, and I'm hoping that we get some more video responses. So far, we've got 26, and it's going to be fun to draw for five of these uh, starter packs from the good folks at Locksack. And again, a special surprise will be with that from uh, my channel. All right, guys, thanks very much. More to come in the future.